I have a question from one of my Patreons and he asked a question that a lot of you guys need answers to. A lot of people contact me about this exact question. And here it is, it's from Sean. He says, I need help with my foster. He's a black mouth cur, 95 pounds, 15 months. A lot of you with seven to two year old dogs experience what I'm gonna describe in this question and I'm gonna help you today. You gotta watch this whole video. Okay, he has issues of leash reactivity, mouthing, jumping, and independence. He chooses when to listen. I've watched a lot of your videos. I'm using a gentle later. When he sees dogs, he lunges and barks. Okay, that's another story. Leash reactivity, we're not gonna answer leash reactivity in a video. That is not how that is answered. Um, so, so he wants to play, but he looks and sounds mean. Okay, on leash. I correct him, but I'm not sure I'm doing correctly. His recall isn't good, and I've tried the 100% come method, and he thinks it's a game. He's tried the go get method, Dog thinks it's a game, like your dog thinks it's a game, okay? He doesn't know when it's time to stop playing. He'll come up to me when I'm watching TV and jump on me, and when I push him down, he'll start mouthing my hands and jump on me. I'll get up and he'll start jumping on me, and I'll put my knee up and he doesn't stop him. He gets mad and he'll nip at my knees. Okay, so this is your pep talk, you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna say is you, dogs like that, young dogs, jumpy dogs, mouthy dogs, the first thing you need to do is up the exercise. I am not saying to exhaust your dog every day. I would never tell my people to do that because you can't exhaust your dog. You have a, you have a life, you have jobs, you have kids. You, the goal is not to get a dog and exhaust them every day so that they're easy, okay? But you should up your exercise a little bit. They need to run, they need to sprint, they need to smell in fields, they need to play with dogs. They need to walk with you on a leash, calm walking. Okay, so that's the first part. You need to up your exercise. But here's the real point of the video. I cannot tell him and you guys exactly what to do about all of those little things until you guys completely understand that those behaviors are unacceptable and they need to be dealt with like unacceptable behaviors. That's the first thing you guys have to do. You guys have to have the will to say, knock it off and go grab your dog. Does that make sense? You have to have the will. I can, I can tell you what to do for jumping. I can tell you what to do for them coming to you, but I can't help you until you guys have the will to let your dog know that these behaviors are unacceptable behaviors because they are unacceptable. You have to have that. You have to have the will, okay? So, now I'm gonna get into how to do this. When the dog jumps on you, you knee the dog without showing any attention. When the dog goes back down, they jump up, you knee them again. Maybe you walk into them and displace them. You are the boss of the house, and the boss is not messing around, okay? By the way, if you say, well, my dog will bite me. Or if you say, Joel, this is, this, you shouldn't give this advice because dogs can bite. If your dog will bite you because you tell it to get off the counter and say off and go grab them in not a mean way, which is how you train them not to counter surf, you have bigger problems than you shouldn't be getting your advice from YouTube. If you tell your teenager to go clean his room and, the, and he hits you, you have bigger problems because that's what this is. It's the same thing. Your dog should not be biting you for anything I tell you to do on YouTube because it is not, I'm not telling you to do mean things that a dog should bite you for. You need bigger help if your dog would bite you for these things, okay? Don't be with me on here. You need to drive to my facility and do private sessions or go to another trainer and do private sessions. YouTube ain't the place for that, okay? So. If your dog will bite you over, over correcting them, you got bigger problems, okay, than, than we're gonna be able to solve today. All right, but these behaviors have to be unacceptable to you. So the mouthing, he's sitting there watching TV, the dog starts mouthing, and by the way, it probably happens at the witching hour, which is about seven o'clock at night. When daylight savings hits, it's gonna be an hour earlier, it's when the sun starts to go down, because they, have to go to, they know they have to go to sleep, and they're all worked up, and they don't know what to do with themselves, so they start jumping in you. So it's a good time to walk your dog. Get him outside, run him around. But let's say you've already done that. And Joel, my dog still jumps on me when I'm sitting there. You're over it. You are over these behaviors. 
Okay, if I sat there and a dog started jumping and launching at me and nipping me, not aggressively, nipping me, I would sit there, minute those teeth made contact with my arm, I'd grab the dog, I'd walk over to him, I'd sit him down, and that dog would go, oh my gosh, that was like serious stuff. You have energy in your arm, you have strength in your arm, and you sit him down and you look at him, just like this. Then you let him go and say, go do it again to me. Then they do it again and you grab them. And then they do it again and you grab them. Until the dog ears pin and they understand that that wasn't good for them. They did not like the result of them nipping you. What if they nip you and you try to grab them and then they run around and they go over there? Then you follow them over there and you grab them in the corner and you sit them down and you do the same thing. You are following up, you are over it. You are over those type of behaviors. Those bold, I'm gonna do with you what I want to do with you human behaviors. That's jumping. Now I'm not talking with your, your three month old dog. That's a different story. At the beginning of this video, I said, what did I say, seven to two years? I didn't say three months old. Three month old dogs nip all the time. You've seen my videos on it. I don't deal with it like that. They're babies. Their brain isn't developed. This is a 13 month old dog who's jumping on this guy who gave this dog a home. We're over it. It's not okay. What about counter surfing? You're sitting down, dog jumps on the counter. I sit at that desk all the time, dogs jump up here. I say, off, ah! and I walk over. If the dog doesn't literally go, oh my God, and like back up and go, okay, dude, if he doesn't do that, I'm already walking over here, grabbing the dog, tell him to sit down. The behavior of coming up here got that reaction from me. The dog hated that reaction. Hence, the behavior drops. The dog jumping on you got that reaction from you, got that correction from you, hence the behavior drops. They're not gonna do it if the consequence is un un unenjoyable, okay? They're not gonna do it. Does that make sense? But you guys have to have the will. You have to carry yourself in a way that is no nonsense. I've said it before to you guys. You run the house. We are over certain behaviors. Leisure activity is a different story. Not coming with call, when called to some degree is a different story. That takes time. I can fix counter surfing in about five minutes. Dogs don't jump and nip me here. They just don't do it. Am I mean to them? No, I let them know that is not okay. And then that often transfer to other people where they go, well, this guy might, this other guy might also grab me. It is not mean. There is no, there is no e-collar, there is no prong collar, there is no um, physicalness. It is a grab and a sit down and they can feel their energy and it is a look and you're standing over them. And then there's no petting afterwards. Okay, we're not then going, oh, I love you. You can say you love them all day long, not in the middle of a sort of disciplinary thing. Okay, what else did he say on there? Jumps on him, talked about that. Nips him, I talked about that. Not coming when called. I'm on an acre. I head out after the dog, I grab the dog, I bring him back, and then I let him go again. If they wanna to come to me, I'll say, I'll give treats if you come to me. They say, nah, I feel like not doing it. Okay, I'm coming to get you. Okay? You have to be over these behaviors. You have to believe these behaviors are unacceptable and then you can apply the things I'm saying. You can't do it the other way. You can't apply the grab method if you are not fully invested that it's not an okay behavior. That's the cart before the horse. You have to first get in the mindset that you are the boss of the house and that counter surfing, nipping, and jumping is not tolerated in this house. All right? That's my video to you guys. Take this and, and be the boss, all right?